Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today I am unboxing the FabFitFun. A little bit smaller than I'm used to, so maybe I just got a lot of like beauty products this time. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it as I'm waving this knife around <laughs> real quick. Um, so I have the membership where I can select things that I want to add, like the customization, so I can add different products that I like into this box. But I have to be honest, I didn't like anything this time around. So I did a lot of the FabFitFun can choose for me. So I don't know what is in this box. Typically I have a, a kind of an idea. I'll let a couple things be surprises, but for the most part, I kind of pick my items. This time I just really let them pick. I, I wasn't really that excited for anything. Nothing really caught my interest. I saw that they had NARS products, but I have NARS makeup. And, and to be honest, I do have like some of the NARS blushes and I don't think they're that great. I'm not a big stand-up fan for NARS. I know there are people who love NARS, but I just really didn't want to waste my box on like, I don't know, that brand, I guess. So um, this is all going to be new to me. I got the FabFitFun magazine. I actually do read through this, so um, I'll keep on to that. This is a Taste Buds Love Us Daily Harvest. It's a coupon, it looks like. Okay, so very first thing I see is sponge gel body wash infused buffer. So again, I don't know any of these products. Smells okay. So I guess it's just a loofah, really, and you just wet it and then rub yourself, so it's like a two-in-one. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a cool concept. I don't really use loofahs, so I don't know. I'll, I'll use it and maybe report back what I think, but this is probably not something I would have picked out for myself. But that's okay. That's what FabFitFun is about. You get things that you would never try, and maybe you like it, so... Um, next thing is the daily hair towel wrap. So this is another item. I'm probably not even gonna open this because I actually have a lot of hair wraps and I don't want to open it up and have another one. So I might just re-gift this to somebody. Again, I know I'm being a Debbie Downer, I'm sorry, but um, I wouldn't have picked this out for myself, but the name of the game, if I'm gonna let somebody else pick something out, I'll probably just get things that I'm not necessarily excited about, but I can pass it off. Uh, I love the towel wrap, so I'm sure somebody in my family or friend would really like this, so I'll pass it along. It won't get wasted. Um, next up, it looks like sunglasses from Lele, Lully, Lale, Sada Doey. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really bad at pronunciation. I can get them out of the packaging. They are tortoise shell, it looks like. So it looks like this. Maybe a slight cat eye, I'm not sure. And then you guys are first to see what they look like on me. I don't know what they look like. Um, but I actually really like the, the tone of the actual glasses. They're like a brown. So they're kind of neat. So um, hopefully they look good. And I only have a black pair of sunglasses, so this will be neat, a different style, different color. So um, yeah, I actually do like these a lot. I think they're cute, they're simple, um, and I like the actual frame. So not a bad gig. And I'm actually gonna put them back in the case just so I don't scratch them. So next up is the Luxie, looks like eye makeup brushes eyeshadow makeup brushes trash over there um smells very plasticky but i assume it's because of this right here um some pretty decent eye brush eye makeup brushes um you can never really go wrong i like the green i think that that's kind of different a lot of brushes are like pinks and golds and blacks so green is kind of interesting i think that that's pretty and i kind of like the like dark the forest green for fall time so you know what um, probably something I want to have picked out for myself, but I actually do like it, so cute. All right, trash on that side. I have a living proof, two living proofs. I think this is the only thing I actually picked out um, from my little options. This is the living proof, living proof. This is the living proof 
full shampoo and conditioner. I've been interested in trying this. I am currently trying out the Olaplex, the shampoo, conditioner, and then like their treatment. And I have their oil as well. And I've been trying that out for about a month and a half. Breaking news, I really don't like it that much, but I'm gonna do a review on that. But um, since I'm kind of going through like a shampoo and conditioner <clears throat> trial when I saw these I figured I'd just pick them up and see what these are all about so that I knew I was getting so I'm excited to try that and it looks like I got another living proof this is not something I knew I was gonna get uh, this is perfect hair day nightcap overnight protector okay so this is like you put it on at nighttime on damp hair and then in the morning you just rinse it out um, I don't know how much I'm gonna use this because I don't like to re-rinse my hair after I wake up in the morning. I shower at night and I don't shower in the morning. So um, I definitely will try this out. It looks like it will be a very good deep conditioner, but I'm probably not gonna go by the directions to sleep with it overnight. But um, let me smell it. Is it weird that I wanna smell it? it smells pretty good. Yep, it smells almost like a clean smell with a little bit of like fresh earthy tones to it so not bad not bad smell okay oh this is really interesting I received the lumify so this is like a it reduces the redness in your eye and I've actually seen like youtubers and stuff use this and their eyes are like crystal like bright white so I would have never bought this for myself but I'm excited that this is in my box yeah I probably wouldn't even pick this out for myself if it was an option but now that it's in my box I'm definitely gonna try this and I'm really interested to see what it's like I don't feel like I have very red eyes or like discolored eyes and so that is actually really interesting and exciting to get um this is, what is this? a cozy scarf Perfect for fall time. So let's see. Oh, that's comfy. Unfortunately, I live in Arizona, so it doesn't get that cold to wear scarves. But at the same token, I'm sure, um, you know, if you're cold one day, it could be definitely perfect for like just cozying up like this. So, um, you know, I'm not mad at this. I think that this is comfy, it's soft. Uh, definitely something that I think more in the northern states would use <laughs> but nonetheless I like it and I'm sure I could figure out a, a place to wear this maybe um, but yeah this is cute I like it cream and pink I think it's pretty okay and I have one last item in here this is the um, daily concepts daily hamamit so it's a, it's been raining here all day. Uh, we, we have monsoon season. I love monsoon season here in Arizona. Um, but I can hear our phones going off, both my husband and mine. They're going off because I think there's a thunderstorm, flooding warning. Um, okay, so back to, <laughs> back to this though. So this, I guess is a scrub, ideal for intimate areas. Uh, ideal for whole body so I guess it's just some type of like exfoliating scrub I feel like this is a little too similar to the very first item that I picked out which was the buffer um, but that's okay um, you know I'll figure oh great for self tanning uh, prepping the skin la di da da I don't think I've ever seen something like this but I feel like it's a very generic you know item to receive so um how do i feel about it i don't know uh do i need a mitt like what, what am i putting on my body I, I don't know um but i don't know anybody else around me who self tans or would find use of this so i'll be honest my final impressions of my box so final impressions these three items are probably going to be a big no for me uh chances are i'll I might use this one right here, that loofah with the soap, but 
I, I probably and more than likely will just try to pass this off to a family or a friend who I think might enjoy this better. That fit fun, especially if you're not customizing your own box, there's chances of you not liking something and then that's kind of the case here. I'm not mad at it, it's just not for me if that makes sense. So these will probably be passed along. The scarf is super fun and soft. Um, will I get much use of it? I doubt it, but that's okay. I still, you know, to be honest, stay tuned to the end. I think I might figure out what to do with this and it might not be clothing related. So we'll see about that. Um, Living Proof, I'm really excited. I know that this is a good high-end brand um, and I just wanna try it. Like I said, I'm doing the Olaplex and so I wanna try another um, brand to see if I like it better. So this is gonna be a, actually this is really interesting because I bought from Nordstrom the anniversary sale, the three pack, and it's very similar to this. It's the shampoo, conditioner, and a leave-in, or a deep conditioner. So it'll be interesting to maybe see what this rivals as, if this is better or worse, or you know what I think about it. So that's interesting. This is, I think, the most exciting gift I got in the box, just because I would have never gotten this for myself, but I wanna see what it looks like and if it really uh, illuminates my eyes to a bright white. These sunglasses, you can never go wrong with sunglasses. Um, and cheap, sun, well, I don't know if these are cheap, I shouldn't call them cheap, but sunglasses I don't have to pay a lot for, I'm not mad at. Look at me, I'm like a star now. <laughs> um, I don't know, is this a look, is this not a look? I don't know, but either way, I like sunglasses, so um, I'm sure I'll get a good amount of use out of these. You can never really go wrong with eyeshadow brushes, makeup brushes, so overall, not my best box, but it's not the worst either. I think they really are trying to step it up. I know that they have been really working to get like bigger name brands in the box, but some of the name brands that they had this month or this quarter just weren't enticing to me. So I skipped on them and just allowed them to pick for me. So overall, I think it's a good box. Um, I've seen better to be honest, but still a, a very good box. And um, until next time. I'm not going to get a lot of use out of this scarf. Um, I can actually just kind of throw it on a chair as a little bit of decoration. And I could actually just throw it on my little ladder back there too. But I just figure if I'm not going to use it for scarf, maybe I'll repurpose it. Obviously, there's a lot of clash right here. I love my little cactus, by the way. Um, but yeah, I, I can definitely try to take it around the different areas of my house and just kind of sling it over a chair. Um, and just kind of have a little pop of color. So repurposing something that I might not get a lot of use out of.